Yep, I just did this. Well guys, I'm not gonna try to act like I have regrets and that I'm depressed now because obviously I spent the money. I'm pretty sure most of you know what this is gonna be that I'm gonna unbox today. It is a new pair of waders. And if you know anything about this logo right here, you know it cost money. Let me clarify a couple things before we get in and unbox these waders right here. Uh, not that I feel like I have to do this, but I'm just going to be honest with you, like dead out, straight up honest with you guys. I, when I bought these, I would say I felt about 30% guilty or maybe buyer's remorse somewhat. And then 70% of me didn't care. Here's the deal though. This is I went back and forth for the last three months calling Sitka, talking to the guys there that work there. And obviously, you know, they're not the ones, you know, they're selling the product, so they're always gonna talk good about it, right? I understand that. I also went on Facebook on a lot of these Sitka trade and buy and sell uh, pages. Now, I will tell you this, those aren't people that run Sitka. These are people that want to get opinions and stuff like that. I don't think I seen one, maybe one negative comment and post about Sitka. I have Sitka now, as you guys know, I have the Sitka Delta waiter jacket. Um, it's the jacket that has no lining in it. I love it. I'll probably do a video of that one here pretty soon. I put it through a season. I wanted to do that first before I made a video for you guys. This is more of an unboxing video, just like my first impressions and wearing it and kind of letting you guys know what it feels like, what it looks like, um, what I think about it. So uh, one of two things is going to happen here, and it's not going to be something that's seen within the first year, the second year, third, probably not up until five years from now, and I'm willing to take that chance, and that is, will these things last with the warranty. They say lifetime warranty on these waders, okay? Right now, I could be getting scolded and mocked because I paid the money that I did pay for these waders and it's in crazy and it's insane. I 100% agree with you. Um, I don't know how many pairs of waders I've went through in my lifetime. It seemed like longer ago they lasted longer. Now it seems like every two years to four years, um, I'm buying a new pair of waders. And the thing is, I was really big on lacrosse and I got four years out of it on my last knee prints. I was stoked. I was like, dude, that's a long time. Well, I bought the exact same pair because I finally got a hole in my other ones. And at the end of the season, bam, got a hole. It's so frustrating. As we all know, it's the worst item in duck hunting that you can buy that doesn't last. And not only that, it does go through the most abuse. So I thought after thinking about all that, adding everything up together in my mind, I was like, you know what? I'm going to pull the trigger. I'm going to buy these waders and I'm either going to hate it and regret it and look like a fool and everybody laugh at me because I paid this much money and they were no better than the next pair of waders or four or five years from now when I still have the same pair of waders and maybe I send it in for a $30 or a $40 repair. I'll do another video about that because with the lifetime warranty, there's some things that you can do to get it checked. Although I did talk to Sitka and they said if you don't if you don't have one hole or no issues with this 10 years from now and you don't get it updated every single year for the warranty the warranty is still good it's not like you have to send them in every year I've heard those rumors go around you gotta send them in every year and pay this money and what's the point of that I agree if you had to do that then forget the lifetime warranty might as well buy a new pair of cheaper waders I did get the Delta Zip waiter which are the most expensive ones in the Marsh Optifade and I will tell you this these boots run big only because I already tried these, sent a pair back and got these in. So here we go. I'm going to open it up. So in the box comes zipper lubricant because I did get the zip ones. And it comes with the aqua seal and a patch in case you do tear it or rip it. Hey, just because you spent this much money doesn't mean they still can't tear. Sick is not trying to say these are miracle waiters. They're just wanting to say that you can have the same pair for 10 years. Hey, maybe you don't. But Thomas said... He wants a new pair every so often just because to have a different look, I guess. That's, you know, that's probably some of your guys' opinions too. So here they are. Fresh, expensive Sitka. 
It feels like there's a card in there or something. There's something in this pocket. No electronics, huh? This pocket is water resistant, but not waterproof. Do not store electronics like smartphones in here. That's weird because last year I was in my Delta waiter, I was putting my phone in there. I never had an issue, but that might be waterproof. I don't know. One thing about these boots, guys, that I have not found yet. Um, I know Bandit's waders are pretty, or their boots are pretty comfortable. Uh, Thomas has looked really good on the tread too. That's probably the best, second best, most comfortable boots I've ever worn in waders besides these. I would say these are number one. Because I tried these a year ago in a Kittles, which is up in Calusa, California. That's an awesome store, by the way. I tried their, their, the boots on. They have them on, so you can try the different sizes. And man, I was like, whoa, super comfortable. And they're actually, what's funny is they're lacrosse boots. It's called Aerofoam. There's the tread. Hopefully the auto focus is picking this up. What makes, and I'm gonna say this now because you guys won't see it in the video. What makes these boots incredibly comfortable is not only, and they're super light, is not only the, uh, the design and the softness of them, but it's this right here. This is what was a big kicker for me. There's no, like other waders where when you take a step, it's digging into your shin or your ankle. And uh, yeah, I'm being a little bit sensitive about it. I'm just trying to say, it's always in the back of our mind, you can feel that. It's still comfortable. I can totally deal with it and never have any issues. I'm just saying the way they designed this to where it gives, right there, is like, dude, you feel like you're wearing running shoes, honest to God. One thing else I'll say before is they have the reinforced knees, which I really like. And this material is the same feeling as the jacket and everything else. Yeah, but I like the reinforced knees. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw these on. I can't lie, it's nice uh, having that zipper to throw these on. So I might have to adjust these straps. Sweet. So you can, I don't, I, I will tell you this. I do like their buckle or shoulder strap um, adjustment setup here. But what it is, I like it, cause look it. Slide it through. I just run it like that. So anyways, got my two pockets that I guess supposedly they say aren't waterproof now. So I got those two. Then I got the kind of hand warmer. And this does not run through. I thought it did. But uh, I can't run through. There's a zipper. Comfortable. Super light. I mean, like I said, I'm not a big buckle guy. I might take this off. I mean, I see their purpose for doing it. I know they use this for like waders to attach like your Texas rig system to, to walk out to the field. Yeah, I don't know guys, it fits good. I don't know what else to say about it. It's a pair of waders, right? You can't go on and on about it. I guess let's see what would be some positives about this. Positives are the boot is incredibly comfortable. It's got good tread. You, I honestly got, it's the lightest boot I've ever felt. It feels like you're uh, like wearing a tennis shoe. I don't know the gram on the boot, sorry. I'll pop it up if I find out. But just stepping in it and bending down and walking is just like, it feels like wearing a tennis shoe. I would say the knee reinforcement is a great thing to have. The fit and the size, it fits like perfectly. There's not a bunch of excess um, bagginess. These are more fitted because you got to give your end seam, you got to give your chest size and all that. So you're getting it specifically made to you. And that's the sickest whole deal, right? Is to, to come up with a product that fits like perfect and there's not a bunch of access, excess material, so to speak. So um, I like the pockets. Maybe you don't like it that there's no shell holders if you want. It's not a game changer for me, honestly. But I do like throwing po um, shells in my pockets, like this top pocket right here, and my cell phone, which, to be honest with you, if it's raining, I don't care because I'm gonna have my Delta waiter jacket on, and I'm gonna have my phone in the pocket, and it's gonna be on the outside of my waiter, so it doesn't really matter. I like the straps setup and system. Guys, I like them. And you're like, yeah, you should, man. You just dropped a lot of money. I know, I agree. I should like them. They should be able to, uh, they should be able to feed the dog and do everything else for me. So anyways, um, like I said, I could be a hero 10 years from now with these same waiters and you know, um, while everybody else is buying three and four pairs, or I might be the guy that was a sucker that fell for the whole thing. Um, I don't think so, but I will let you guys know. I will keep you posted. This season on our channel, duck season, I'm actually, big announcement, going to Nebraska for early till season in like two weeks. So I'm gonna be wearing these out there and um, it's gonna be awesome guys and I, I can't wait. And it's not, 
Obviously not because of the waiters, just because I'm I'm ready to duck hunt, man. Aren't you guys ready to duck hunt? And you know what? I'll try to update you guys as the duck season goes along. Temperatures, cold water, how this feels, you know, layers underneath. You know, since it being a little bit more, you know, fitted, how do layers go underneath? And if it's super cold temperatures, will I stay warm? Blah, blah, blah. You know it works. Subscribe to the channel. Follow along on our duck season. Like I said, it's coming up soon. About two and a half weeks, you're going to already see duck hunt videos up. And I'm super stoked. These waiters... Are they worth it? Will they last? We'll find out. See you guys next time. Oh.